How do you spend your money when you manifest riches and wealth, abundance, etc.? That's a question that I have been very interested in because as one of my friends said, you don't want to take desperate actions. You don't want to make decisions out of fear. And because money is so loaded with negative emotions sometimes, we don't know what to do when it comes to spending money in, accord in accordance to manifesting more of it. So we think we should save it, we should do this and that. And I've read a book, a fascinating book, by author Ken Honda, Happy Money. I would strongly recommend, I think this book will be amazing in the years to come, it will get more and more popular. I do think it's like the think, of grow, think and Grow Rich of our generation, so I strongly recommend you read this guy, uh, this book, sorry, by this guy, Ken Honda, Japanese author, Happy Money. And in his books, he talk about having a loving relationship with money and not a fearful relationship. We would treat money as we treat a person. So when it comes and goes, we accept it because we give them the freedom, the unconditional freedom because we know that this person, we love this person and we give them freedom to come and go. We're not possessive, we're not clingy, we're not needy. And the more we love, the more we appreciate this person, the more this person will appreciate our Same goes with money. So when you when it comes to spending money, and that is something that Abraham Hicks said as well, when we spend money not out of fear, but we spend money knowing that this money is fulfilling our desires, fulfilling our happiness and making us happy. Obviously, you have to be aware where you're spending money. Are you spending money out of fear? Are you spending more money because you want to impress people? Are you saving money because you fear for the future? And I'm not saying there's necessarily wrong, nothing, anything wrong with saving money or spending a lot of money. There's the mindset behind spending money and saving money. If you save money out of fear, that's not a good way of doing things. If you spend money to impress others, you are doing it wrong too. When you spend money because it makes you happy or makes other people happy, that's the one way to be in alignment with your money and therefore live in abundance and not fear. And abundance is your more to you. Makes sense, right? Gratitude, abundance, all this stuff. So when you go to a restaurant, and that's an um, example that the author of the book, Happy Money, Ken Honor, gives. So when you go to the restaurant and when you live with this mindset of happy money, you don't pick the, sh the cheapest thing directly because you want to save money or you don't want to spend on the biggest bottle and the most expensive dish because you want to impress people. When you are aligned with yourself, when you are self-loving and when you love yourself unconditionally and you are, you are the only one validating yourself, you pick something that is in alignment with what you desire. So you pick something that you love. Makes sense, right? Because you have a good relationship with money and money is only there to serve you as energy to bring you more of what you love in your life. So you don't treat it with fear and you don't treat it as a tool to impress others. You use it as a tool to make yourself happy and make others happy. And you thank people and you thank you your money as he said. You thank you your money, you aligato your money as he said. When it goes, he said that whenever we spend money, we should say thank you. Don't forget, when you have a bill, you thanking this company to give you the electricity, the water, because those are things that make your life better, having water, having electricity, having lights, all this stuff. So there is reason to be thankful. When you go to a restaurant and you spend money, not only do you give money, but you make a business grow. You make a business sustain itself. You help people get their salaries. And that's something you should be thankful for. So you're thankful for when you spend money. You're thankful where it goes and what good it does. And you're thankful for you know and you affirm it will come back. He said in one of his podcasts, Ken Honda said in one of his podcasts, that whenever he spends money, oftentimes he would say that, Money 
go and bless the world and come back with your friends. And that's a beautiful way of seeing this. It's being okay letting go of the money and being happy when we spend it because we spend it for the good reasons. Now, obviously, you don't want to spend crazy amounts of money when you don't have it. But even then, I have examples that will show you that even then it could be fruitful. There is this super fan of the Toronto Raptors, for those of you who follow the NBA, who got famous in 2019 when the Toronto Raptors won the World Championship two years ago. He's an Indian immigrant who moved to Toronto, Canada. And he was struggling like a lot of immigrants and now he's a multi-millionaire. He has a five different car dealerships all over Toronto in prime time locations. He's very rich, very successful. But it was not always the case. He was struggling like a lot of immigrants. But he has been, because the Toronto Raptors has been in the NBA for only um, 20 years, I think, a bit, uh, 23 years maybe. And he's been, a sons, he's been a fan of the Toronto Raptors ever since. And he, he claimed that he never missed one home game. Never. And even though he did not have the money, he would still spend his money on seats. Why? Because this was his way of being supportive of his city. This was his way of being happy. He loved basketball. He loved the Toronto Raptors. And he was there. And he didn't have the money. I'm not talking now. He's sitting courtside and he's a VIP there. I'm talking about 20 years ago when he was barely making ends meet. He was still making a way to go to each and every game, regardless of how much money he had. You see? Doesn't matter. When you do something that truly makes you happy, there's a way, and it doesn't matter if you don't have the money. There's a way, and it's okay. You live in abundance. You know that you spend money for you. It makes you happy. It's something aligned with who you are. So that's a great way of spending money. Another example, if you want to increase your mindset, and I'm not suggesting you do exactly what I'm about to say, because that's a bit crazy. I was listening to Donald Trump. We can have, each of us can have opinions about Donald Trump. I'm just relating an anecdote. There was a very, very cool anecdote. He was singing his, in one of his interviews, and he was talking about how one of his friends increased his confidence and his belief in himself and belief in his capacity to make a lot of money. Now bear in mind, that friend started with nothing. But he would always find a way, no matter how much money he had at the beginning, to always fly first class. Not even chicken business class, to fly only first class, even though he didn't have the money. Even Donald Trump, who was a close friend of him, thought he was crazy, thought he was unreasonable. But years later, this guy is a multi-millionaire, million times over. Maybe even close to being a billionaire. He's a very, very successful, very, very wealthy person. And Donald Trump said in his interview that this guy, his friend, needed this to propel his mindset. So you see, everything is, is here. Even if you watch a video by Abraham Hicks talking about this subject, sometimes it's hard to watch Abraham Hicks because sometimes it's just like, it gets to, I think even I, and I love Abraham Hicks, but I think sometimes it's like, can you be more straightforward? Sometimes it takes time and like, every time I watch a video by Abraham Hicks, I mean, not now, now I'm pretty familiar with them, but at, at the beginning in, in the past, I was like, I took a deep breath, like, okay, let me get ready for this, you know? And I knew that five minutes of Abraham Hicks would be whew, draining, so to speak. But anyway, she would always say about spending money. Spending money is not about spending a lot, spending a little, not spending, saving. It's about your mindset behind everything you do. Like anything in life, it's your mindset, what you do. Do you do it 
out of unwholesome negativity, fear, and doubt, or do you do it out of positivity, service, and good, and wholesome, positive thoughts? So that's very important. So that's my take on spending money. I studied this, and it I works for me, works for a lot of people, and the mindset is the most important. So thank you so much for listening. I'm Sebastian. I'm a mindset manifestation medication coach. My information is the link in the description box below. For those of you watching, sorry, on YouTube, for those of you listening via podcast, you can check my website, my page, Instagram, etc., etc. Thank you so much for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. It will help my channel grow, and I appreciate it very much. Thank you so much.